previously on Game Gengo. Hadaima! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Game Gengo, the video series where we learn Japanese through video games. In this video we're going to be going through episode 19 of Final Fantasy VII Remake. So in this episode we're going to be going with Cloud and Tifa on the way to having this talk that Tifa wanted to have outside. And so we're going to be covering over 40 new words, about 48, and we'll also have quite a few interesting little bits of grammar as well, so I hope you enjoy that. So in this video, first we go through an immersion section where you just try and see how much Japanese you know and just enjoy being immersed in the Japanese environment. If you don't understand, that's fine because we're going to explain it in the next stage, the analysis section, where we break down all of the language so you can watch the whole scene by yourself after you've seen this video. And then we have a review so that you can remember, give another chance to review the words that we've learned and then finish off with a short quiz where some of the most important words from this lesson will go and quiz in a battle stage. So without further ado, let's get into the video. お金の話の前に聞く。この近所にね、アパートがあって部屋が空いてるんだ。しばらくそこに寝泊まりしない。大家さんが私たちの活動に好意的なの。ああ、助かるよ。じゃあ、こっち。上、どんな感じだった。まあ、混乱していたな。大変よね。そりゃもうすごいね。ごめんね、巻き込んで。警察だったって反省してる。俺のことなら気にするな。これは仕事だ。この
So first, kono kinjo. Kono means this, and then kinjo is the word for neighborhood. So in this neighborhood, in this vicinity, kono kinjo ni, which means in this neighborhood, and then ne is just like a hey, look, hey, listen. So kono kinjo ni ne, hey, listen, in this neighborhood, apato ga atte, there is an apartment, heya ga aiteiru da. Here is room. So right now, this is a room, but it can also mean a room in an apartment. So it doesn't have to be just one room. It could actually be uh, the connection with the apartment. And so here, here ga aiteiru da. And so here ga aiteiru means that a room is open or a room is vacant. So we've seen this word before. And so it's saying that the room is vacant, so he can use it. Now we have this nda at the end of the sentence. This is showing that she's explaining something to him. So she's teaching him new information and she's explaining that there is a vacant room in the neighborhood. And so in the English version, she says exactly the same. There's an empty apartment in the place just down from the road. It's nothing fancy, but it's just adding a little bit of interesting language to this sentence. Won't you stay there for a little while? Shibaraku soko ni netomari shinai? So shibaraku is for a short while. Now this kanji here, uh, you don't need to know this kanji. Usually you see this word in hiragana, um, but that is the kanji for shibaraku, which means a short period of time. For a while, for a moment, for now, a short period of time. And then soko ni, so soko remember is over there, so there, and then ni is showing where something is. Soko ni netomari. So netomari is a new word meaning to stay at something or to kind of lodge at something. So she's saying, won't you kind of, you know, bunker down at this apartment? Won't you stay at this apartment for a little while? Shibaraku. Now we have this shinai. This is asking, won't you? So suru means to do, the verb to do. And then this shinai is just the negative of not doing. So she's literally saying, will you not stay at that apartment for a little while. Shibaraku soko ni netomari shinai. Oya san ga watashitachi no katsudou ni koiteki na no. Yachin wa tada. The landlady is favorable to our cause or our activities, so the rent is free. So here, Oya san is a landlord, or in this case, a landlady. Oya san ga, so the landlady is doing something, watashitachi no katsudo. So watashitachi is us, and then watashitachi no, that means our. Katsudo. So katsudo is the word for kind of, you know, your activities, your, you know, your movements, what you're doing. And so they are the kind of, you know, terrorist organization. So that's what she's referring to, the fact that they are in avalanche. So watashitachi no katsudo ni, and then we have koi teki na no. So koi teki means to kind of be favorable to something. So the first kanji for ko, this actually is the same for ski, to like something. And then the e is showing kind of feelings or thoughts. So favorable thoughts, ko e. Then teki just means like or ish. So favorable ish to our cause or just favorable to our cause. And then nano is just the feminine way of explaining something, you know, the emphatic particle. So this would be nanda in a more masculine or neutral way, but nano is a little bit more feminine way of explaining something. It's just a little bit softer. And then we have yachin wa tada. So yachin is your rent. If you have to rent an apartment or anything, that is yachin. So literally that ya is the house and then the chin is the kind of renting of something. So the rent of the house, yachin. Wa tada. So as for the rent, as for the yachin, tada means free. Murio. So tada and murio are kind of the same word. They mean very similar things. It just means free. You don't have to pay. Tada. Free of charge. So the rent is free of charge, and the landlady is really favorable to our cause. Oya san ga watashitachi no katsudo ni koi teki na no. And then the rent is free. Yachin wa tada. So in the English version, she says the landlady's a big friend of the cause. That's the same. So you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sounds good. So exactly the same as the Japanese version. Ah, tasukari yo. Ja, kochi. Sure, that'd be a huge help. Ah, tasukari yo. Alright, this way, ja, kochi. So first we look at what Cloud says. He says, 
ah, tuskaru yo. So ah is just a way of saying yeah, and then tuskaru here is a new word saying to be saved. Now, he's not actually being saved like from the grips of his life, but this third meaning here to be helped or to be saved trouble, right? So he, if he didn't get this opportunity from Tifa, he would have to find a place to stay, right? So she's saved him the trouble of having to find a place to stay. And so that's where that Tuskaru is, right? It's a way of saying thanks, right? You really helped me out, Tuskaru. So, ah, uh, Tuskaru yo. And then Tifa says, ja, kochi. So we know all of this language, ja means well then, and then kochi means this way. So, well, all right, this way. What was it like up top? Well, it was chaos. So let's start off with Tifa this time. So she says, what was it like up top? So ue means up. Ue, shita. Ue is up. Donna kanji. Donna means what kind of. We've learned this before. Donna kanji means what kind of feeling. Like how was it? Donna kanji is a really common way of asking. Like you know, how was it? What was it like? Right? Donna kanji. Like an experience. How was that experience? Donna kanji. And then the data is just saying was it. So this is was. Da is data was. So donna kanji data. How was the experience. And then Cloud says, ma, konran shiteita na. So ma is just well, or you might say, ma, konran shiteita. Konran is chaos, right? So just people screaming everywhere, going everywhere. So disorder, chaos, confusion, mayhem, konran. So konran shiteita. So shiteiru means to continuously be something, and then shiteita means was continuously something. So he's saying that it was kind of just chaos, and it was continuing on, right? And then this na is just the masculine way of saying ne, which is like hey, or right. So if we have a look at the English, Tifa says, how was it up on the plate? Same thing really, just in Japanese she only says ue, and then Cloud says it was chaotic. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. I'm so sorry. I'm really regretting being this careless and dragging you into all this. Dayone, so that's for sure. So Dayone is just a way of saying, yeah, I know, right? And that's referring to the chaos. Dayone, gomenne, sorry. Gomenne, I'm so sorry. And then maki konde. So maki komu means to kind of roll up, or here actually to be involved into something, to get you involved. In all of this, so to kind of drag you into this situation, maki konde, and then she says kesotsu datatte. So kesotsu means careless, rash, and then data was, so it was rash, and then te means she's quoting something. Hansei shiteru. Ah, okay. So hansei is a new word, and it's kind of a difficult word to put into exact translations into English. It means a kind of sense of introspection, and you're kind of thinking about your past actions and kind of repenting. You're kind of you know reflecting on your past actions. So it shows that she has some regret, right? She's thinking about her actions and she's sorry. So hansei shiteru. So what is she repenting about? What is she doing the hansei about? Here that. Te is showing that it's quoting that kesotsu datta te. That te is showing what she's being regretful about the fact that she was rash. Kesotsu. Now in the English version, she says, "Sorry for dragging you into all of this. It was wrong of me to put you in danger like that. I promise I won't do it again." So this is a really good、uh, translation into English. A lot of this language is not there in the Japanese version. However, the intent is all there. So it was wrong of me. She doesn't say that, but that's exactly what she's actually saying in Japanese, just not literally. And then I promise I won't do it again. That's exactly what she's saying in the Japanese version, but not literally, because that hansei shiteru means that she's thinking about her actions. Well, that's her, right, trying to promise to herself that she won't repeat those actions again in the future, right? That's why you hansei shiteru. So, so here she is doing it because she doesn't want to do it again. She doesn't want to put him into danger again. Look, if it's about me, don't worry. This is the job. So, ore no koto nara kini suru na. Kore wa shigoto da. So, ore me, ore no koto, the thing about me, so about me, ore no koto nara. If it's about me, so nara is if it's the case. Ore no koto nara 
気にするな。Don't worry. So, 気にするな is a real slang, very anime way of saying, don't worry about it. Maybe normally you would just say, ah, 心配しないで right? Don't worry. But this kind of 気にするな is a very slang way of saying, don't worry about it. And then, これは this is or as for this, 仕事だ It is work. And then in the English version, he says, danger is part of the job. Don't worry about me. So, this is really the same thing, it's just flipped, right? In the Japanese, He says, don't worry about me first, and then last he finishes off with, it's about the job, whereas in English it's completely flipped. Mm. Mm. Wakata. Yeah, I know. So, mm is like, yeah, and then wakata means I understand. So, this word here, wakaru, means to understand something, to comprehend something. So, often people might kind of get two verbs in Japanese confused, wakaru and shiru. So, to understand and to know, right? So, understand means that you can comprehend something, right? You can think about something, it makes sense, right? And you can kind of, you know, it's something that you get. Shiru means it's kind of a factual information that you just know, right? And so, here, wakaru means that she understands what he's saying. She understands his feelings, she comprehends what he's saying. And that's why she says, wakatta, I got it. I understand. I also know the feeling of detesting Shinra. Shinra o nikumu kimochi mo wakaru. Shinra, Shinra, Shinra o, so we're doing something to Shinra. Shinra o nikumu. Nikumu is the new word here and it means to hate or detest. So it's just, just oh, I hate them, right? Just, Shinra o nikumu kimochi. So, kimochi is a noun meaning your feelings. And then we have the verb in front of the noun. What this is doing here is the verb is actually modifying the noun. So, it's saying the feelings of detest, right? Nikumu kimochi. So, we're kind of modifying the noun there by putting the verb in front of it. Nikumu kimochi mo wakaru. So, here Cloud uses that wakaru as well. So, he's saying that he also understands the feeling of detest towards Shinra. So this is interesting. In the Japanese version, he's actually kind of being sympathetic towards Tifa and saying, look, I also get your feelings, you know, hating Shinra, or, or he understands other people's feelings of hating Shinra. However, in the English version, he just says, always happy to help stick it to Shinra, which kind of makes Cloud into more of like a, you know, prankster role where he likes just screwing with Shinra. Whereas in the Japanese, he's just being a little bit more sympathetic with people. He understands why people hate Shinra. You didn't get into a fight or an argument with Barrett and the rest, right? Barreto tachi to momenakata. So Barreto is Barrett, Tachi is Barrett and those guys, to is with, and then momeru here is a review word, it's not new, but it's worth looking at again, and it means to kind of get into a dispute or a fight over something. And so she's asking, did you kind of, you know, get into a fight, did you get into any kind of problems with Barrett and the guys, right? Because Cloud's new to the group. And so in the English version, she says, so you make nice with everyone. So the same thing, right? Did you get along with everyone? How was it? You know, this was your first time with this group. How did it go? Oh. Yeah, I don't know how they feel about it though. So, ah, uh, So, ah, uh, Yeah, so he's saying, yeah, he didn't get into a fight. Muko is a new word meaning the other side. So if you're on a road and then you have the other side of the road, that would be Muko Gawa, the other side. Muko means the other side, right? The opposite. But here it can also mean the other person, right? So he's saying his side is fine, but the other side, Barrett and the rest, Do Motaka Shiranai. Do Motaka, how they thought. Shiranai. I do not know. Kedo na. However. So just quickly, since we looked at wakaru, shiru here means that he doesn't know something, right? Factual information. He doesn't know the fact of how they think about it, right? And that's why it's shiru, not wakaru. And then in the English version, he says, much as I could, all things considered, maybe not enough for them. So in the English version, Tifa said, did you play nice with everyone? And then he says, as much as I could, all things considered, but maybe not enough for their liking. Which is kind of touching on the same thing, right? He is saying that, you know, like, in, in, in his situation, for him, he played nice, comparing to normal. However, for the other side's, you know, amount that they might want, maybe not. I see. I was worried because you've been doing nothing but fighting, you know? So, 心配だったんだ。クラウドは喧嘩ばっかりしてたからね。
So so is just I see, and then Shimpai Datanda is explaining that she was worried, Shimpai to worry, and then the Datanda was, and then Nda explaining it was the case. Kuraudo wa, as for Cloud, Kenka Bakari, nothing but fighting, right? Kenka is to fight, and then Bakari means to do nothing but. So Kenka Bakari, nothing but fighting, Shteta, you did kara ne, because, you know? So, because, you know, you're doing nothing but fighting. Kenka bakari shite takara ne. And so here Tifa is likely referring to the fact that when they were kids, Cloud was a little bit more of a fighter. He liked fighting with people, he was a bit stubborn, he didn't get along with people. And they touch on this exactly with the English version where she says, Good, you had me worried, you're not exactly a people person. <laughs> Which is, you know, Cloud is not really, you know, the idea. If you think of who should I go clubbing with, you would not think Cloud. Uh, you probably think Barrett before Cloud or, you know, Wedge, Biggs, Jesse, but not Cloud, right? He's not really a people person. So that the common that may have been the case. So So here it's clear that they're talking about the past because he says so datta. It was that way. Kamo maybe and then na, you know. So they're talking about the past, how cloud was in the past. And so the English translator has given a very natural response in English. I'll give you that, right? Yeah, I'll give you that one, right? You know, you're right, you're correct. <laughs> The Sector 8 that was shown on the TV, it was like a movie. Terebi ni, so on the TV, and then utsutteta means to kind of be projected, to be displayed on the screen, right? So what was on the screen? When you say something is on the TV, right, you see something on the TV, you would say terebi ni, and then this utsuru. So terebi ni utsutteta, it was shown on the TV, hachibangai. So the hachibangai, the Sector 8, that was shown on the TV, terebi ni utsutteta, ega mitai datta. It was like a movie. So, you know, if you remember back with all the explosions and the fire everywhere and the screaming and the heart sirens and everything, and Shinra very likely made it look even worse than that, than what it actually was, but it was still already pretty bad. So that's what she's saying, that it was like a movie, right? It was, it was horrible. And then in the English version, she says, I saw Sector 8 on the news, it was like a war zone. Which is what she's saying. She's saying it was like a movie, referring to, you know, a kind of war movie, not a Mary Poppins happy story. She's talking about, you know, a violent, like a war movie. The news is also created by Shinra. They let out lies without batting an eyelid. So, news bangumi, the news programs, news is news, bangumi here is a TV program, a program on TV. So, news bangumi, the news program, mo. Also the news program, Shinra ga tsukutteru. Shinra is also making the news programs. Yatsura wa, so as for those guys, so yatsu means that guy, yatsura means those guys, yatsura wa, as for those guys, heiki de. So heiki de means without kind of batting an eyelid, right? No problem, easily, without hesitation, without remorse, right? So without remorse, those guys, uso mo. Tare nagasu. So uso is a lie, and then tare nagasu means to kind of discharge something. So if you think of, you know, the dirty meanings, uh, that is it, okay? When you go to the toilet or anything like that, you have <laughs> something discharged. This is the word, the tare nagasu. If you think of a sewerage plant where, you know, all the gross stuff just gets discharged out by the pipes, that is tare nagasu. But here, it's a lie, uso. So he's saying that it just, you know, it comes out without, you know, without meaning to. It's a horrible thing. And so here they're using it figuratively, saying, that, you know, this lie is the same as those other crap that gets discharged. And in the English version, he says the news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. They'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells them to, which is yeah, the same thing. <laughs> Ah, so that was also a lie, right? Ja, are mo uso da yo ne? No. Yeah. Oh, I see. Soka. So, first let's have a look at Tifa saying, so, oh, okay, so yeah, Shinra lies, so this must be also a lie, right? So, ja, well then, are mo that 
also are that thing, that also are mo, are mo uso da yo ne, uso lie da yo ne means right. So, you know, that was also a lie, right? Yeah, no. So, yeah means yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, no, no. Sokka. So, sokka is short for soka, which is short for so desu ka. Is it so? So, she's saying, ah, oh, I see. Koko na no. Namai wa tenbou sou. Hei wa nikai ne. This is it. The name is the observatory manor. The room is on the second floor. Koko na no. Namai wa tenbou sou. Hei wa nikai ne. So, koko means here, nano, again the female way of explaining something, it is the nanda, koko nano, it is here, namae wa, as for the name or the name is, tenbo so. So, this is an interesting uh, bit of language here. So, tenbo, the normal way of writing it would be here, okay, so you can see the different kanji, right, the first kanji is different. Tenbo means kind of an outlook, a prospect of view, right. But here they're replacing the first kanji with ten for heaven or sky. Okay, so this is playing with the language a little bit, saying that you know the view, but it's like a heavenly view, right? A view of the stars, ten bo. So if you go to an observation deck, uh, you might see it called that as well, right? Ten bo decky, right? So the ten bo deck means the observation deck, and then we have so. This means manor or villa. So, so or sho, different ways of saying it, tenbo so, the observation manor. Now, in the English version, they gave it a much cooler name, Stargazer Heights. I really like that, that's really nice, because observatory manors sounds very stiff and very kind of ugh, boring, right? So that's the more literal translation. But Stargazer, ah, that sounds pretty, that's a very eloquent, pretty way of saying the same thing, and then heights instead of manor, which is a common way of calling, you know, apartments, right? They always have these cheesy names, you know, like something heights or something palace, those kind of silly names. And so that's what's happening here. So really nice translation there. Heia wa, as for the room, and then nikai, the second floor. So this kai is a new piece of language, and it's a counter for stories. So if you look at a building and you have nikai, sankai, yonkai, that means second floor, third floor, fourth floor, or second story, third story, fourth story. So this is a really common and useful kanji to learn. If you're ever in a hotel in Japan, you will see this word. If you're trying to figure out how to get to a, a certain floor in a, in a mall or something, you'll see this kai. So please make sure to learn that kanji and the word is very, very, very useful. So kai for story. And so in the English version she says, and here we go, good old Stargazer Heights, you're on the second floor. Kono Room 201 here is my room. Kono So Kono means this. And then we have ni maru ichi for 201. So when you're saying numbers, when you're kind of teaching numbers, whether it's an apartment number or a telephone number, Sometimes instead of zero, maru will be used. Maru means a circle, right? So it's kind of like an O, right? If you say that in English, right, you might say O4 instead of zero four. It's a similar relationship where O is actually the letter O. Why are you saying O? But I, I say it, I say O477, seven, seven, right? That's the same as maru. Maru meaning a circle. So ni maru ichi. 201 and then go shitsu. So go shitsu is just the suffix for room numbers. So if you have go shitsu at the end, the go bit is number and then the shitsu means room, right? So the number room, 201 number room, room number 201. And then ga watashi no hair. So she's teaching something, that's why she uses the ga particle here, not the wa particle here, because the ga particle is used to teach new information. So this room here, room 201, is my room. But I'm mostly in the shop, so this place is just for sleeping. Demo means but, and then taite is the new word we have here, meaning mostly or usually or generally. So this kind of general, usual sense. Taite, usually, mise ni iru. Mise means the shop, referring to seventh heaven, and then ni iru, iru here meaning to exist. So she's usually in the shop. Taite, mise ni iru kara, because koko wa, as for here, nemuru dake. It's just for sleeping. Nemuru meaning sleep, and dake meaning 
only. Now in the English version she says, I don't have time for much else, what with seventh heaven and all. So in the English version it's a little bit different. She's coming across as saying that she's so busy that she doesn't have much time for anything else other than seventh heaven, even her own apartment. But in the Japanese version she just says that she's usually in the shop, that's just what she usually does, and she only uses the apartment for sleeping. Maybe that's more of a personal choice. <laughs> There's so little in my room it's embarrassing. <laughs> so, nanimonakute. Nanimonakute is the conjugated version of nanimonai, which means there is nothing, right? Nanimonai, there is nothing. Nanimonakute, there is nothing, but continuing on with the rest of the sentence, that's why it's in the te form. Hazukashi. So, hazukashi means embarrassing. If you do something that's embarrassing, you go, oh, hazukashi, right? It's embarrassing. Hazukashi could I means to the extent that or enough something so that it is. It's so embarrassing, right? There is so little in my room that it is to the point of being embarrassing. Nani mo nakute hazukashi could I. But in the English version, she's actually just still talking about the fact that she doesn't have any free time, and so she's saying that she doesn't even have enough time to decorate. Room 202 here is available. Of course, I've told the landlady about you. So this is actually all old language, okay? This is all review now, which is quite a big sentence for it to all be known language already. So congratulations. Kono this ni ni 202 goshitsu, the name of the room, ga aiteru is open or vacant. Mochiron, of course, Oya-san, the landlady, ni wa. As for to the landlady, Kuraudo no koto, the thing about cloud, about cloud, hanashite aru, I have talked about kara ne, because. So, if we put it all together, this room 202 here is available. Kono ni maru ni goshitsu ga aiteiru. And then we have, I've told the landlady about you, of course. Mochiron, Oya-san, ni wa. Kuraudo no koto, hanashite aru kara ne. Now in the English version she says here's your room 202, don't worry, I've already told the landlady about you. I don't know why she says don't worry in the English version, it's almost implying that Cloud cares. <laughs> I don't think he would really care, like who is this landlady to him, he doesn't really care, he just is in it for the place. But here, I guess, you know, Tifa's kind of making him come across as a little bit more caring. Nante? Nante? What did you say? What did I say? Nante? Nante? <laughs> so this is a nice kind of combination here where they're just saying the exact same thing, however they're, you know, talking with each other. So Nante is actually kind of short for Nanto iu or Nanto imashita ka? <laughs> what did you say? So Nante, the te is, as you may have already become familiar with, is often contracted from to the quoting particle, right? And that's what this nante is coming from. It's nanto. But what are you quoting? You're quoting what someone said. Imashita, right? Or itta. So nante itta, what did you say? But it's all just contracted into nante. So nante, what did you say to her? Nante, what did I say to her? <laughs> and so that's that language. Oh, Tokyo just that a friend from my hometown was looking for a place. Was that bad? So, Dokyo here is from the same village or the same town, right? Nibelheim. Dokyo no Tomodachi, the friend from or the friend of the same town. So, you know, like a kind of hometown friend, childhood friend, that kind of thing. Dokyo no Tomodachi ga heya o. Sagashiteru. Heya o. So it's the object. We're seeing that someone's doing something with a heya. Sagashiteru. So sagasu means to search for. So if you're searching for something, right, that's sagasu. Searching for a house is the same thing. And so here, heya o sagashiteru. Searching for a room. Te. Quoting that. So she's actually quoting the exact words that she said to the landlady. Dokyo no tomodachi ga heya o sagashiteru. That's what she said to the landlady. Te. Quoting, sore dake, just that, right? Mazukatta. So, mazui means it's 
kind of awkward or unfavorable or problematic, right? So the fact that she told her landlady that one of her childhood friends is looking for a place, is that bad? And then in the English version, she says, oh, I mean, I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? So touching on the same things, right? She's concerned that she's, you know, shared too much information with her landlady and that she simply was just saying that her friend was looking for a place. Yeah, inda. So too. Nah, it's fine. Yeah, inda. And over there? So again, a lot of review here. Ia means no, inda, i means good, and then nda is explaining something, so he's explaining that it is good. And then sochiwa, as for there, as for over there, and he's referring to the third room on the same floor. Uh, there is, uh, it's, it's, it's a little late. Let's do introductions tomorrow. Sokoa. So, soko wa, as for over there, osoi kara. So, osoi means late, or it can also mean slow, but here it's late in the day. Osoi kara, because it's late in the day, ashita ni natara, when it becomes ashita, when it becomes tomorrow, naru means to become, natara means if or when it becomes, aisatsu shioka. Aisatsu here is a new word meaning to kind of greet, right? To say hello. And then shio means let's, but shioka is like, I guess we should, or I guess let's. Aisatsu shioka. And in the English version, she says, that one's, uh, you know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. Which may or may not be a good idea, which we'll find out in the next episode. So for now, let's go into the review. Okay, so for the review for this lesson, first we have okane, money, okane, kinjo, the neighborhood, kinjo, apato, the apartment, apato, hea, the room, hea, shibaraku, for the time being, for a short while, shibaraku, netomari, so staying or lodging at a place, netomari, ne meaning sleep, and then tomaru means to stay at, netomari, oyasan, landlord or the landlady, oyasan, koi teki, so favorable, koi teki, yachin, the rent, yachin, tada, free, free of charge, tada, taskaru, so to be saved, or to be saved the trouble of something, taskaru, datta, so the past form of da, was, is, da, and datta, ma, well, or you might say, ma, konran, so disorder or chaos, konran, gomen, I'm sorry, Gomen, maki komu. So to get rolled up in something or to get involved in something. Maki komu. Keisotsu. So to be rash, thoughtless, and hasty. Keisotsu. Hanse. So to have a kind of introspection about something, a bit of regret. You're thinking and going, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Hanse. Kinisuru na. Don't worry about it. Kinisuru na. Wakaru. To understand or to comprehend. I got it. Wakaru. Nikumu. So to hate or to detest something. Nikumu. Muko. So the other side, or you know, the other people, muko, kenka. So to fight, to get in a brawl, kenka, utsuru. So if something is projected on the TV, that is utsuru, eiga. So if a movie is projected on a TV, eiga ga terebi ni utsutta, news bangumi. So news program, news bangumi, yatsura, those guys, yatsura, heiki de. So heiki means just. Pfft. I don't care, easy, without hesitation, no problem, without even batting an eyelid. Heiki de. Tare nagasu. So remember to, right, the excrete to discharge something, just the tare nagasu. Ugh. So the lie, to let out a lie. Kai. So the counter for stories in a building. Kai. So ni kai, floor two. Tenbo. So the outlook, or remember here being used the kanji for heaven, tenbo meaning, you know, the observatory, seeing the sky. Sho or so means manor or villa. So remember, the name of stargazer heights in Japanese is tenbo, so, go shitsu. So the suffix for room numbers. So room number 202, ni maru ni go shitsu. Room 202. Taite. So usually, generally, taite. Nemuru. 
So to sleep, but not necessarily lying down, right? It's just the actual state of being asleep or sleeping. Nemuru. Nani mo nai. There is nothing, right? Nani mo nai. Nani mo nai. There's nothing. Hazukashi. So to be embarrassing or to be embarrassed. Hazukashi. Kurai. So to the extent that. Hazukashi kurai. To the extent that it's embarrassing. Nante. Nanto imashita, nanto ita, nante. What did he say? What do you say? Dokyo, the same town or the same village. Dokyo, tomodachi, your friend or your companion. Tomodachi, sagasu, so to search for something. Sagasu, sore dake, just that. Sore dake, sore meaning that and dake meaning only, only that, just that. Mazui, so mazui can be bad, but here it's kind of just awkward or troublesome. Mazui, sochi. So over there, sochi or soi. So to be slow or late, and here late in the day or soi. Ashita, tomorrow. Ashita, naru, to become. Ashita ni natara, when it's tomorrow. And aisatsu. So aisatsu means to greet, but it can also be used when parting from someone. So here in Japanese, aisatsu can be both saying hello and also saying goodbye, which I'm now going to say to you as you go into the quiz. Good luck. See ya. この向こう名前は展望層。部屋は2階ね。でも大抵店にいるからここは眠るだけ。東京の友達が部屋を探してるってそれだけ。まずかった。
Yay, congratulations, you have now finished episode 19 of Game Gango. We're almost at 20 episodes, and so now you have learnt over 850 new words. So really hope that your kind of vocabulary is starting to grow. You should be starting to see a lot of these words in other forms of media because we've covered quite a lot of language already. So hopefully some of these language you've remembered and you're seeing in other places. It's actually fun so you can kind of remember, right? Like kikoeru to listen, hoshi no himeka, or maybe. <laughs> so hopefully you can you know, be learning some of that language. So thank you very much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, a comment, subscribe, hit the bell if you want to see as soon as a new episode is released. And I'd just like to give a quick shout out to all of the Patreon supporters. Thank you so much guys for all of your support. It, I know I say it every time, but seriously, it's so special to me. So thank you so much for your support and keeping this show running. So thank you very much everyone. Have fun. Good luck with your Japanese studies. And I'll see you again next time. See ya.